Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I'll be creating two chandeliers using starburst lighting. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. For my first DIY, I'll be using a 22 inch hula hoop and I'll start off by removing the wrapper and the pebbles from inside. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, link below. Next, I'll be using my scissors to cut off 6 inches. For the remainder of both DIYs, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll apply hot glue in each hole and then I'll attach my connector back so I can connect the hula hoop back together. Next, I use two large skewers and I cut them to size to fit the hula hoop and then I glued them on vertical and horizontal and then I took it to a well ventilated area and spray painted two coats of metallic silver. I did lose the footage of gluing on both skewers but I think you can see that it's self explainable. Next I purchased two yards of this gray sheer fabric from Walmart and it also has a metallic silver ombre pattern. Next, I took my fabric and I fold it and I'll be cutting it down to 20 inches long. Once I was done, I took my fabric and I'll start gluing it on to the hula hoop and I'll apply glue and continue gluing the fabric as I go. Once I was done gluing my fabric, I just cut off the remaining fabric. On the open part of the fabric, I just apply hot glue to hold it in place. Next, I'll be using diamond mesh wrap and I cut it into double strips and I'll be gluing it around the edges of the hula hoop. Next, I took single strips of diamond wrap and I cut them to the same length as the sheer fabric and then I'll be gluing them around the hula hoop 4 inches apart. To hang my chandelier, I took single strips of diamond wrap and I'll be gluing them on the skewers on all four corners. And for a better hold, I'll be using jewelry wire and I'll wrap it together with the diamond wrap and the skewer. And to hang my chandelier, I used one shower hook and all I did was just took my strips and hooked it onto the hook. For my second DIY, I'll be starting off with two poster sliders and these are very easy to use because they already have the openings. 
Next, I'll take my sliders and I'll put them together and I'll take my long ruler and I'll be cutting them down both to 18 inches. Because they are plastic, I just use my scissors to cut them down. Once I was done with my cutting, now I have a set of four. Next, I'll position them into a square position and then I'll take my hot glue to hold them in place and apply it in all four corners. Once it was dry, I took two craft sticks and I cut them in half and then I inserted them in all four corners and I, then I applied hot glue to hold them in place. And to hide the color of the craft sticks, I'll be using black acrylic paint on both sides. Next, I'll be using two black fringe curtains that I purchased from Amazon. And these curtains come with metallic silver in between. Next, I took the top part of the curtain and I fold it in half and then I'll be cutting off the remaining fabric that I won't be using. I only left one inch of fabric on top. Once I was done, I cut both curtains to 20 inches long. Just like the first DIY, I'll be taking the curtains and I'll be gluing them around the frame. Once I ended up back in the beginning, I just cut off the remainder of the curtain and sealed it in place with hot glue. Next, I'll take four fringe and I'll tie them on each corner where the craft sticks are and then I'll apply hot glue to hold it in place. Once I was done, I took all four fringe into the center and then I tied a knot. I also took a shower hook and hooked it onto the center and I'll be using this to hang my chandelier. Next, I took diamond wrap cut into eight rolls and then I'll be gluing it around the frame. For my lighting for both chandeliers, I'll be using Firework Starburst Lighting and it comes already in a kit in a box and it's easy to assemble. This kit also comes with a remote and easy to follow instructions. This kit does not come with batteries so you will need 4 AA batteries.
The remote has 8 different settings and the settings are engraved on the base. The wires can be bent into any shape you like, but I'll be shaping it into a round ball. The battery pack of the lighting also comes with a hook, easy to hook onto the middle of the skewers of each chandelier and also you may use it outdoors as well and also change the settings to multicolors. And here is the finished looks on both DIYs. I really do love the way both chandeliers turned out and what I love is all the shimmering and the starburst lighting in the center. And once the lights are off, you get to enjoy that beautiful firework display in the center of each chandelier. And I love the way the round chandelier turned out as much as I love the square one. These are two stunning and elegant and affordable chandeliers to create and I enjoy every minute of it. And once the lights are off, you get to enjoy that beautiful sheer fabric and firework display. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy both DIYs as much as I enjoy creating them. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends. And subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.